Hello everyone and welcome. Today's topic is the stereochemistry of nucleophilic additions to carbocation intermediate. And this is brought to you by Science Visualized. So if you look at this structure, you see that this carbon here has a positive charge and therefore it's called a carbocation, so C+. Plus. And on this side, we have a bromide nucleophile. So this is a nucleophile. The carbocation is an electrophile. Electrophiles are electron poor species and therefore they are Lewis acids. Remember Lewis acids accept electron pair. Nucleophiles on the other hand have lone pair of electrons or a minus charge like in this case and therefore they donate electron pairs. Carbocations are flat or we say planar. That means this carbon that carbon, that carbon, and that carbon are all on the same plane. And therefore, the nucleophile can add from the top or from the bottom. So let's go ahead and see what product we get. In the first case, the nucleophile, which is the bromide ion, is going to attack from the top. And you end up with the product having the bromine coming out like that. In the second case, the nucleophile will add from the bottom and you end up with the bromine going in like that. So this is out and this one here is in. Because of that, you end up with a mixture of enantiomers. Enantiomers are stereoisomers that are mirror images but cannot be superimposed, cannot be overlapped. So when you have a mixture of enantiomers, the R and S isomers, for example, you end up with an equal mixture of enantiomers. So 50-50 mixture. That means 50% is, say, R isomer, and then the other 50% will be S isomer. And because of that, one half rotates the plane polarized light, say, in the negative direction, while the other one rotates the plane polarized light in the opposite direction, and same value, say one is minus 20, the other one is plus 20. And the result is that it becomes optically inactive because when you add these two, it results in zero optical rotation. So it does not show any optical rotation. This kind of mixture where you have 50-50 mixture of enantiomers is called a racemic mixture and it's optically inactive. Now back to this structure, that center is not really a chiral center because this carbon and that carbon is the same, you need to have four different groups. And here we just have one, two, and then that, and that's the same group, CH3. So you need to have four different groups. But you get the idea that when you add a nucleophile, then you have two possibilities, adding from the top or adding from the bottom. And the result is going to be a racemic mixture. And just while we're still here, I want to mention three situations where compounds could be optically inactive. One no chiral center. Number two, racemic mixture, like the one we just saw. And then number three, meso compounds. So meso compounds have chiral centers, have like at least two chiral centers, but they also have a plane of symmetry. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this presentation, please support the channel by subscribing and also liking the video.